the Cubs said, uh, we don't believe in, um, in saying they're untouchables. Uh, Theo Epstein, the head of baseball operations, said, we've never operated with untouchables. It sends the wrong message. Given what we're trying to accomplish, it would be virtually impossible to envision the deal that would make sense to move them. I just don't believe in untouchables. Why limit yourself? So uh, now they're talking about Chris Bryant being on the, uh, um, I wouldn't say on the trade block, but certainly they would consider offers. Rizzo, Kyle Schwarber, Addison Russell, Javier Baez, Wilson Contreras, the catcher. And this automatically will lead to, would the Mets be interested in Chris Bryant? And somebody, we were talking before the show, somebody said, would you trade Noah Syndergaard for Chris Bryant? And I, I said, in about a nanosecond, but I don't think the, that's not enough for the Cubs. No. The Cubs need starting pitching, but the Mets would have to give up a lot more than just Noah Syndergaard for a former MVP. Chris Bryant's an MVP. Now, I know he had a bad shoulder last year, had a subpar season. He's still a great player. 272 in a subpar season where he had under 400 at-bats, 13 homers, 52 ribbies. On-base percentage of 374. This guy's special. Would I give up Noah Syndergaard for him? In an eye blink. You have to. I mean, you're talking about an everyday player as a guy that can help you win every five days. Would you give up Syndergaard and Conforto? Wow. Because Conforto might be coming into his own. That's the only thing that scares me. Because if he could be healthy, if you tell me that Conforto's healthy all year, the way he played when he was healthy last year, he could become special. Would you give up Syndergaard and Rosario? Yeah, I think I would. I don't know if they go for that. I mean, uh, uh, unless they trade Baez, they don't really need a shortstop. So, Are the Cubs blowing this up? They might be changing managers, too, at the end of the year. I don't know if they're blowing it up, but they they're, they're, they they have a lot of money that are, that's on the books, and I'm not quite sure um, if they, with their with their payroll situation as it is, if they have a lot of maneuverability to get the pitching that they need, so maybe mm. they feel the best way to do it is, is via the trade route. And one other thing that they have to consider, Don, because I know the Yankees considered it, when you're starting your own network, which the Cubs are doing, yeah. and it will start at the 2019 season, you want to go into it with a team that's expected to win. Now, the Yankees were lucky. Because when they started the Yes Network uh, at the start of the 2002 season, they were coming off a World Series Game Seven. They lost it, but they were World Series. They were American League East champ American League champions. The Cubs want at least that because then you could really go and, into it flying high. And the Cardinals always seem to be pretty good. The Brewers look like they're going to be good for a while here. But remember the Cubs' problem down the stretch, Michael. Even though they needed starting pitching, they couldn't score. Right. They just they really had trouble scoring runs. And they, and they ended up firing Chili Davis. Yeah.